We've had the opportunity to explore diverse perspectives, including those of the national director and one of the delegates. Our conversation continues with the business side of the Miss Universe Belize pageant with Miss Myra Sibrian, another distinguished delegate with a rich history in pageantry and a passion for community service. Hailing from Belmapan, Myra brings a wealth of experience, having previously held titles such as Miss Las Flores and Queen of the Bay, Belmapan. As we welcome her to the studio, we go deeper into the financial planning and strategic maneuvering within the competition. So let's hear from Myra as she offers her insights and experiences so far. Welcome, Myra. Thank you so much for, for having me here today. Well, we have a lot to talk about. Um, well, first and foremost, how are you feeling right now as one of the delegates for Miss Universe Belize? Honestly, it's a huge honor to be able to be given the opportunity to vie for such a beautiful title. So, honor and happy. <laughs> so we know you have an extensive knowledge of pageantry because of your previous experiences and participation in pageantry. So what sets Miss Universe Belize aside from those? The fact that it offers an international platform. So to be able to, you know, voice my advocacy and the things that I truly believe in on an international stage. So it's no secret that pageantry can be very expensive when it comes to getting your hair done, getting your lashes, your nails, your dress, your wardrobe. There's a lot of finances that go into this. Can you tell us how it's been in regards to getting sponsorships? Are you currently self-funding your journey? I have definitely been active with my team to gain um, the support of a lot of sponsors. We do know that the way people pageant, view, view pageantry here in Belize is um, not as it's viewed in other countries. So pageantry, I believe, that offers a lot of opportunities, not just for the contestants, but also for businesses because it offers them exposure. But for us to be able to really offer something in return to those businesses to be able to get their support is where the key thing is. So I've been active in working on things that I, on a package that I can offer to them in return for them, for their help with my finances. So that's becoming a common theme here that we're noticing in the pageant world is bartering. So in exchange for your sponsorship, I'm willing to maybe act in a commercial or become an ambassador along those lines. Yes, along those lines. So you mentioned previously that pageantry in Belize is not taken as seriously compared to other countries such as the Philippines or Vietnam and South Africa. Why do you think that is? I believe that Belize hasn't really reached um, that big moment on an international stage. Well, we know that you've put us in the map in that sense, but I believe that Miss Universe, we need to do more for Miss Universe. So the same way that you put us out there in the map, that's the same thing we need to do at Miss Universe. And I know that the organization right now and the committee is working really hard for that to happen, for Belize to really place. So I know that whenever that happens and businesses here and people here in Belize see that this is you know, opening doors not only for the person that is representing, you know, the queen representing Belize, but also it broadens up and, and makes other countries want to come to visit, makes other countries want to see what's going on with Belize. And that is going to be very helpful, not for us just as the contestants, but for the entire country in a whole. Yes, I definitely couldn't agree more with you. I think that it will definitely increase tourism and we know how important tourism is for yes, our nation. Definitely. So in what ways do you see pageantry boosting the economics of Belize, the economic profile in Belize? With our views, definitely with the views that pageantry really offers you out there in a whole, like I said, for Belize to be seen. So once Belize is seen, then a lot more people will want to know what is going on in Belize and what Belize is really all about. And that's our opportunity to be able to show that to the world. Thank you, Susie. Can you discuss more about balancing your life as a Miss Universe Belize delegate? I'm sure that you have a lot of things to juggle. You're an entrepreneur and you work with different brands, and now you're taking on this role to represent our nation. How has all of that been impacting you? It has been impacting me. I believe that in a situation like this, um, time management is very crucial. So you have to be able to manage everything that you're doing to be able to cover everything because it's a lot. Um, having to deal with um, three businesses and the preparations and everything that comes into it, reaching out to sponsors, ensuring that you, you know you're covering whatever was the package or everything that you offer them. So it's definitely a lot of work, 
But time management, I believe, is the biggest key, the key thing there to be able to manage your time properly and be able to schedule yourself to be able to cover everything. Yes, and aside from juggling all of that, you also have to juggle your community service as well because the big misconception about pageantry is that it's all about pretty dresses and heels and in reality, it's given women a platform yeah. to voice their advocacy. So can you tell us a bit more about your advocacy? My advocacy centers around the well-being of the elderly in our country and of course all around the universe, emphasizing on the importance of their care, respect and support. So I find that the way that I've been trying to balance that is um, finding businesses to sponsors as sponsors that align with my values and everything that I believe in. So in that sense, I give to them and they give to me. So it's a two-way treat. So I think that's the best way that I've found to be able to work around that. So Susie, unfortunately we are running out of time, but we do have one final question for you. What advice would you give to a young girl out there who, or an older woman out there since they have now extended the age limit for Miss Universe Belize who is interested in joining the pageant, what would you tell them? I would tell them to go for it and to start to plan from now. You know, a lot of people say that it's never too late, but I think in pageant planning, and I think you're gonna agree with me on this, it's never too early to start. So definitely begin to plan, um, know yourself, begin to know yourself and really identify what it is that builds you as a person, what are your values, for you to be able to use an advocacy that really resonates with you as a person. Because in pageantry, it's very important to be authentic. So definitely get to know yourself. Um, don't say no to the opportunity when it presents itself. Because pageantry really opens a lot of doors. And if it doesn't open the doors, it gives you the confidence to open those doors for yourself. So definitely pageantry, like I said, is a huge opportunity. It has, it has helped me a lot in, a, you know, in many ways. So I know that it will also help a lot of women or young girls out there. So I would definitely say go for it. Thank you so much for joining us, Susie. And do you have any final words? Well, I have definitely a final word. I would like to you know, tell the viewers to follow not only my journey, but also the journey of all the other contestants. And to be able to show that support, show love and support because we need it. Um, it's crunch time and uh, it's, pageantry is a lot of work. We have a lot of things going on and the support, you know, even if it's just moral support, it really does go a long way. So yeah, be nice to people, be nice to the contestants and support. Absolutely. Well, you heard it here, viewers. Um, definitely take the time to follow up with all the delegates and follow them on social media to know more about their journey and the Miss Universe Belize pageant. Well, Susie, this has been an excellent conversation. We want to wish you the best in your endeavors, and hopefully we will be seeing you again. Yes, thank you so much for having me. When we come back, we will have the founder of La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge, Mr. Roberto Harrison. So stay tuned. Thank you.